My name is Jason Geyser and thanks for joining us this week on Technique of the Week. Today we're inside of a swimming pool here and we're going to be showing you guys a, a really easy way to, to build a scaffolding system in a swimming pool. A lot of times, um, well most swimming pools there's a shallow end and a deep end so it's really hard when they're using a um, styrofoam type of form coping to be able to get to that, those areas without like moving a ladder around or whatever. So today we're gonna to show you a real simple way to, to be able to get to stuff in a swimming pool um, and not, not take up a lot of time. When I was contracting full time, it always drove me crazy when we were doing a, a swimming pool like this because we could never, never reach and it's always usually muddy and you know stuff in a pool. So, cause obviously it's the low, low spot like you can, you guys will be able to see in this one. Um, so we figured out a, a way to, to just be able to drive these pins if you get a you know two two to three foot pin like just like these ones here what harvey's doing is he's just measuring uh between the pins um, he's going to measure that and then he's also going to measure off the pool well pool wall we know we know that the bottom of this is level so if he kind of measures off there and puts them all basically uh relatively close to the same height that's going to help us to, to keep the plank more level all we're going to do is keep putting these um, into the bank like that every uh, four to five feet and that'll give us a nice place to set our 2 by 12 on there or an aluminum scaffolding pick or whatever you might have. It's a really uh, simple way to, to, to be able to reach this. There's nothing worse than, than being in one of these and having to walk in the mud or not being able to reach uh, what we're doing. So thanks to uh, B&K Concrete today for letting us be out in a, um, on their job site and we'll uh, We'll see you next time on Technique of the Week. Thanks.